What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrubby here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I wanted to talk about a guy that uh, you know, the universe tried to balance out his luck as much as humanly possible. Homie was having our open heart surgery. Definitely bad luck vibes but uh, afterwards in a get well card received a lottery ticket worth a million so kind of balanced it out. <laughs> Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million All right, so I think we can all agree that having open heart surgery is up there as one of the like bad luck situations you might face in your lifetime, right? You know, luck is not on 100 if you're in a situation where open heart surgery is on the table. That being said, having good friends around that get you get well cards, that definitely helps. And when those cards have a lottery ticket in them, that's definitely fun. And when that's a winning lottery ticket, well that's like the most fun combo possible, you know? what I mean? Man who had open heart surgery wins $1 million lottery prize after the ticket came in a get well card. Honestly, dude, you know the guy who gave it to him is like, dang it, I kept the wrong ticket. Like, he probably bought two, kept one for himself, happened to give away the one worth a million dollars to his friend, and he just had open heart surgery, so it's not like you can be like, hey man, since I gave you that, can I have half, you know? Nah, that's not how it works. He's recovering, bro. He needs it all to get back out there. Seriously, though, this is how you know, like, the, the skies have parted and there's the beam of light coming from the sun straight to you, just like, ah, sure, things have been rough. You survived open heart surgery, already an achievement right good for you on top of that you're now one million dollars richer as far as what could happen right after you get open heart surgery winning a million dollars is probably up there as one of the better things right you know the only thing that could be better than winning one million dollars after open heart surgery is winning two million dollars after open heart surgery a Massachusetts man recovering from open heart surgery won $1 million lottery prize on a scratch-off ticket given to him by a friend, according to lottery officials. Alexander McLeish received three scratch-off tickets and a get-well card from a friend earlier this month, according to a news release from the Massachusetts State Lottery Commission. Alright, I know a lot of people say the lottery is the scam, and like, listen, if you're playing it from a financial perspective, you are 100% correct. If you are trying to play the lottery to win, then you definitely need to like relearn how odds work, right? You literally have better odds of being struck by lightning like three times instead of winning the lottery. Sure, you know, you, you could put half your paycheck into it. Chances are you're never going to win. That being said, as far as a get well card, bro, three scratch offs are fun because at least for 15 minutes he gets to daydream about what he would do if he won like, you know, a million dollars. And in this situation, he happened to win it. Either way, it's a little bit of an escape from open heart surgery you know? Seriously though, the odds of this happening are slim to none, but if it can happen to anyone, someone recovering for open heart surgery is the person that like deserves it, right? You know, I think anyone who like wins the lottery, it's odds are, odds are like, you know, if you win it, you already are a lucky person, you deserve it. But if I could pick a person that got a lottery ticket that was a winning ticket, it'd be somebody that just had a crazy expensive operation, life's probably got him down. He did just have open heart surgery in America, so so yeah, uh, I'm sure winning the lottery also takes a little bit of stress off that medical bill, you know what I mean? That's gotta be the get best get well card of all time, guest bet well card. You guys know I kind of switched it up there, I'm sorry. But like, as far as get well cards go, uh, don't get it twisted. I appreciate a handwritten card that says, I really hope health finds you soon. You are destined for greatness. But you know what is a little bit better than that? Someone sending me a card with a million dollars inside. You know, they say money can't buy happiness, but if you gave me a million dollars after my open and heart surgery, I might be a little happier than I was before. The man wound up winning the second top prize for the game, $1 million. There are only 10 total prize winners for that amount in the $20 lottery ticket, and the top prize is $5 million. So alright, he didn't win the top lottery, I guess that would make the guy that bought him for him feel a little bit better. Like, okay, at least he didn't win the 5 million, right? But, you know, what I really want to know is what he's gonna do with the money. You just survived open heart surgery, what are you gonna do next? In reality, I hope he, like, ate some carrots, you know, calmed down, but what I hope he says in this imaginary world we're building right here, I'm gonna do the same thing I did to get into open heart surgery. Hookers and blow, baby. Like, he just goes all out, just spends all of the money he wins living the most rock star lifestyle of all time. They're gonna make, like, a Netflix documentary about it 20 years from now. That was a joke, by the way. But, like, you know, there's that one video of the news clip of the guy getting interviewed by the person, and they're like, what are you gonna do if you win the lottery? He's like, blow. 
That's what I just feel like. I, I don't know. That would be the ultimate plot twist here. Or like, you know what else would be the ultimate plot twist? He's just already some really rich dude. Honestly, I'm just going to add this to my pile of millions. I have about 700 other million in my bank account that I guess this would look nice and next to. Really appreciate the state for giving it to me. And that would be the ultimate way to make everybody dislike you. Like, I know lottery winners already have a lot of people with coming after their money and like, you know, being depressed after they win. But imagine publicly coming out and being like, thanks for the lottery jackpot. I don't need it. You guys suck. Pfft, nana nana boo boo. Like that would be the ultimate way to make sure that literally everybody hates you. I feel like getting an article written about me winning the lottery is also not what I would want. Like if I won the lottery tomorrow, hypothetically I win 60 million in the Powerball or whatever. I'm not telling nobody, bro. I'm dropping off the face of the map. If I ever disappear, you guys know that like I, I won the lottery or something. This wasn't the first time McLeish won on a ticket given to him by his friend. Several years ago, he won a thousand dollars on a lottery ticket his friend gave him for his birthday, according to lottery officials. McLeish claimed his $1 million prize Friday and chose the cash option before taxes. He received a one-time payment of $650,000, according to the news release. I'm really hoping that they meant after taxes on that, bro. Like, they're like, all right, you win a million dollars. Do you want cash? Yes. Okay, we're not gonna tax it yet. 650 grand. Because if that's the case, he only won 300 grand. And that's just a depressing amount. If you win 1 million, the state only gives you 300 grand what in the government if you want to make anybody hate taxes have that be the case bro you know like eh, if you win a million dollars we're only giving you 300,000 best of luck paying for your next open heart surgery pal because you're gonna have one heck of a shock when you open this letter and read what happened all jokes aside though guy's luck is pretty impressive if he's won a scratch off before I love how they try to like associate these two though don't get it wrong winning a thousand dollars on a scratch off is impressive that's definitely a good a return right but it's definitely not even in the same league of winning a million dollars off the lottery like winning a thousand dollars off the lottery I feel like anyone could meet someone that that's happened to right but like meeting a guy that won a million dollars off the lottery now that that seems a lot more rare I feel like that's the equivalent of being like I've seen a shooting star and like being an astronaut levels of trying to conflate what you do here sure they both involve a space but it's definitely just not even close to being the same thing in one instance instance this dude got a metric crap ton of money in the other instance you got enough to like pay your car payment for three months that's fantastic good for you but it's just not the same ballpark i really do hope this guy spent his money in a good way bro maybe he invested it wisely maybe he bought a lambo whatever it was i just hope he enjoyed whatever he got with it because that's what life's about at the end of the day baby anyways guys i think that's gonna do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed if you did i would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button let me know in the comments section down below what you thought and of course subscribe if you're new if you really want to help me out i'll put a link down below to the intro song along with the link to my podcast the scuffed cast or of course you could use code scrubby at the g fuel checkout to get a discount on the best energy drink for gamers and last but not least, two things to shout out. First things first, we got the Storytime Spotify. I'll put a link in the description, but if you want to help me out and listen to some story times without the gameplay offline, whatever it may be, links down there. And we got the Karen Christmas sweater, the coolest merch to ever exist. I'll make sure this link's in the top of the description, but check it out if you haven't already. I would definitely appreciate it. It's pretty fantastic if I do get to say so myself. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot, and hopefully I will see each and every single one of you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.